hello everyone, my name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which are my 5 star predictions for 2023. I did this last year where I predicted 10 books coming out in 2022 that I thought I would love and then at the end of the year I went back, looked at all of them after I had read them and realized how many I did and did not give 5 stars and what that whole journey was like. I ended up giving half of them 5 stars and half of them not, which is pretty good honestly, um, but I did rate very highly all the books that I didn't give five stars they were still very good books so I thought I would do this video again for this year because I just had so much fun doing it and it's a great motivator all the books that I have on this list will be coming out this year so the first book I have on this list is Happy Places by Emily Henry this is the new Emily Henry uh, summer romance book uh, we have our main couple who I think they are actually already dating and things aren't really going so great they have a friend kind of get together and it's a walk down memory lane and I think they kind of re-fall in love so I'm very excited for this one so hopefully it'll be five stars beach read was five stars uh, Book Lovers was really close to a five star, so I think there is definitely potential here. The second book is Bring Me Your Midnight. This is by Rachel Griffin. This is uh, the third Rachel Griffin book, and I, again, I've loved her first two, and they all kind of take place in the same uh, style. Like, they're all witches whose magic is based in nature and the relationship with the human world and everything like that. Bring Me Your Midnight sounds so much more like intense, I wanna say. I mean, cause like the first book was really good and was intense. The second book was amazing, but it was very like in its own kind of small little just between these characters. Whereas this one seems like it's gonna be on a much grander scale and it's gonna be a little different from the others. So who knows, it could definitely be a five star read. The, her books are just so atmospheric that there is definitely lots of potential here. The fourth book that I could give five stars this year, or I could see myself giving five stars this year, is Immortality, A Love Story by Dana Schwartz. So Anatomy, A Love Story was by Dana Schwartz. I read it and I loved it. I gave it five stars. So Immortality is the continuation of this gothic romance. And I think if it's as good as the first one, then it's definitely a five stars. So I have high hopes. I'm a little nervous, but I have high hopes. The fifth book that I could give five stars to is A Slight of Shadows. This is by Kat Howard. This is the second book after An Unkindness of Magicians, which also was a five star read for me. I loved it and I have been long awaiting Slight of Shadows. It has been so long between these books. I think if it's even better than the first one, that would be amazing. You know, it's a like secret society competition, magician, trickery and darkness and all that. So uh, the sixth book on this list is The Stolen Air. This is by Holly Black. This is the new Fae series that she is going to come out with and I absolutely adored The Cruel Prince and I think this book definitely has potential. It sounds so interesting, like so much fun, exactly what I need, more Cruel Prince-esque writing and storytelling, which would definitely be a five star for me. The seventh book is The Moth Keeper. I believe this is a graphic novel. It's by Kay O'Neill. It just sounds so cute and so cozy and also a little emotional. It's definitely going to make me think. Um, and I think it's just going to be an adorable, like, fantastical uh, little book. So I, I have a very easy time giving graphic novels five stars, I will say. The eighth book on this list is going to be The Brothers Hawthorne. This is by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This book is coming out as a companion to the Hawthorne Legacy Trilogy. I'm sorry if you can hear my neighbor's dog barking. I really love the trilogy. The final book in the trilogy was a five star for me. The final Gambit was five stars. 
and I don't really know if the Brothers Hawthorne takes place before it, during it, or just is some sort of background, whatever. But I think because of how much I love the initial trilogy, this could be a five star read. And I hope it is. I really hope it is. The ninth book on this list is The Darkness Within Us. This is by Trisha Levenseller, who is my new favorite author of this year, just by the way. And I, I've just loved all of Trisha Levenseller's books. And so anything by her could be a five star. I'm gonna read, I'm gonna prioritize, so. It, it's definitely on this list. And then the final book on my five star prediction list, book 10, is This Cursed Light. This is the second book of the Las Finestra duology. The first one is called This Vicious Grace and it's by Emily Thede. It is a very Italian-esque fantasy and it follows this Finestra who is an amplifier for other people's powers but more often than not she ends up killing the people she touches rather than actually amplifying their power and there was like a huge kind of like twisty cliffhanger right at the end of the first book which I was not expecting so because of that I'm like I need the second book now I'm so excited um, and so because I have these feelings, I'm like, oh, it could definitely be a five star. Like we could definitely get into some very interesting magical things in this book. Like I said, those are all the books on my five star prediction list for 2023. Comment down below any books you predict are going to be five star reads for you, whether they're books coming out this year or other books that you have on your TBR. I would love to hear about it. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also feel free to subscribe. I post videos on Sundays and Wednesdays, although I have been posting three videos a week in December as well as January. So hit the bell to be notified for those extra bonus videos. I have bookish social media linked down below. You can follow me there and keep up with what I'm reading and what I'm feeling about it. But until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading. Mm -hmm.